Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to go over some changes in Apex Legends for Season 20, and let's start off with an easy one. The shields have gone from shields to shield cores. Shield core here. Level one. Now what that means is you can't armor swap anymore, but what you can do is take the cores from the boxes. Now as you see, I have white armor, but if say the person I killed had red armor I can take that and what that is gonna do is it's not gonna give me red armor like it used to now it just gives me three extra charges of damage along with keeping my white armor now with that if you get damaged the extra goes away and then you just lose whatever it is you lose during that damage and all you can heal is what your shield contains I think that's a good change uh, a lot of people you know relied on armor swapping and kinda either ratting or waiting for third parties to end and trying to snag anything they didn't work for you know it's more of a fighting game in the sense that way and also what they've done with the leveling up they've added these evo caches grab this now I can level up it automatically does the shield but now you have these upgrades you have to apply and it gives you two, two choices for level 2 and level 3. Uh, unfortunately, when you get the red shield, you gain nothing else. So now with level 2, with these two options for Bloodhound, every legend is different. That's what's really cool about this. So it just really pertains to your gameplay and to your being. It's pretty great. So we'll go with the left. Tactical cool, cooldown is minus 5 seconds. As you know in this game, 5 seconds means a lot. You could potentially get another tactical in the same fight when you might not have had that chance previous season. Or, they took this away from Bloodhound, but you can add the 25% ult charge with your White Ravens when you're traveling along the map and you're not near any enemies. Doesn't matter what you feel like you need that game, take that one. We'll go with this one just for showing purposes. So, we can do this. Now it's 20 seconds, not 25 seconds. And we've leveled this up again. Praise the old father. I've leveled up and you can have been offered see here, upgrade. double duration of tax full body scan, so people are going to last longer during the tactical or 25 HP on knock while alt is active so now you're pretty much just getting a health bonus if you're really good at bloodhound and you're knocking people in your ultimate helps you stay up helps you keep fighting it helps you save time on healing yes we'll just go with that. Do so now another change is this aiming. Now this digital threat can only go on shotguns and handguns. They took them off the submachine guns unfortunately. What was that decision there? I don't know. But uh, sorry Bangalore players, hopefully you're good with them shotguns. Now also with the leveling of your shields, it has become more of a team game. Now, if, let's see, let me go to Lifeline. Pretty easy. I've got to eat it my birthday already. Drop that. I don't know what this is not going to work. Let's go with this. Upgraded and, and good go to go. This. Upgraded and good to go. This up. 
I could have just done this in the first place. Here's my birthday present. You see now that it's gold instead of blue, right? Because it is a supply drop. So if I go to any of these skirmishers, I have come to save the day. Maybe. You can see my next level is 1500, right? Care package over here. Boom. Revealing care packages gives you 50 points towards your Evo for your entire team. Now, stuff like that works with every legend. Skirmishers, revealing the care packages, controllers, duh, doing the ring councils, supports, opening the medic pills, assaults, opening the assault pills and recons, doing the... whatever it's called. The show will go... Yeah, doing the, uh, the ring. The ring council. There we go, guys. I'm bad with words, but they come along eventually. So now... Feels like more like a team game, right? I'm helping you by opening up these crates I need to do, or revealing the ring. So now, picking different teammates becomes a lot more helpful. Um, of course, we have gun changes. That happens every season, so nothing too uh, too crazy there. I guess a big one is the damage for the 3030 dropped. Base is 39 now. And, as you see, it's single reload. And also, the max for the mags is different. We can show, take this off. I must select an upgrade to fuel my passion. So now it's seven, eight, and 10 for both of these because it's the same size. It used to go up to 12, so it is a minor difference. Um, they also added a game mode. Uh, let me look up the name real quick. It is called Straight Shot. So you spawn at a random POI. There's no s s jump master. You just s die dive in still. So you still have a s s little control of where you're going to land. Uh, your weapon spawn kitted at different rarities, so you can see them in the same colors as you can see I am these cool items here. An upgrade. There's gray ones, there's blue ones, there's purple ones. You know, sometimes you're gonna get lucky off drop, sometimes you're not, but that's what we've come to learn and love of Apex. Uh, the reduced lobby is down to 30 players. And shorter ring rounds. Makes the game a little more fast paced, keeps it interesting, keeps you fighting. What's not to love about that? And there's a new thing that they put in is re -queue. And You can do it with your party, you can do it solo, don't matter. You can just be right on the death screen and for me personally the button is 1 and you can just re -queue. You don't have to go back to the lobby, nothing like that. I think that's pretty great. A, uh, another major change that they have done is crafting. That has gone ex nay on how it used to be. There is a slighter, easier way to do it now. You only get four options if you have a medic on your team. You can either get a health pack, shield, or ammo. And then the fourth is your team's banner cards. I am called to They're all free, upgrade. there's no crafting materials anymore, and each crafter you have one use per person. I think that's a great change. Uh, that saves you time sitting at crafters, trying to, you know, level up your armors like you used to, or sitting there crafting a bunch of bats, or if you have a teammate that's hogging everything, and they got what they needed, and they just start running off. So now either A, you sit and get left behind trying to make your stuff or you just follow them and you don't get anything you needed you know you needed a bat you needed a med kit now you got nothing 
Um, those are the major changes in this season. I hope you guys learned something, and I will catch you guys on the next level. I can choose an upgrade to elevate Please. this dance.